Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Tim, free, free, free. Yellow, yellow. That's his name. Yellow, yellow. Yellow. The yellow, yellow tour. Have they been there? Yeah, they've been there. Hey, I put my pants down for the low waist so my knees would be covered. So I'm not looking for a confrontation. says we don't let them know you're an American or no, it's one of the other <laughs> tour videos of wearing your American baseball hat and your favorite team. Yeah, right, right. Oh, anti-gunners. We're not in Europe. What? We're not in Europe, so it's probably just me. What? anti -gunners. Oh. Yeah. Right, 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 yeah, yeah. You're right. I think that was a European type of thing. That's where he, that's his mostly. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab the rail. Kind of hot. There you go. Yeah, it, it says that. And then it turns around and says. Yeah. Makes no sense. Yeah. It's in there. Yeah. And so people think they take care of the other. We are at the Mount of Beatitudes, Mount Arbel, where Jesus gave his famous sermon. Unfortunately, it's been overrun and overtaken years now by the Holy Roman Catholic Synagogue of Satan Church, and that's why you see some of these things you don't like to see up here, but we're going to ignore that and do what we do to try and worship the Lord and praise His name. They got a strict dress code here about not showing your knees or your shoulders. 
probably have some other legalistic rules also, but we're not going to follow them. Down there you see the Sea of Galilee. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Beautiful. Yes, I like this spot. This is my favorite because uh, I just imagine it like this. This is how it is in my imagination. I don't think they were sitting in an auditorium inside of a church. But they were probably sitting in something like this on the rocks while Jesus was giving the Mount Beatitudes. Mm -hmm. So I think I already covered all the guiding points on the bus. And I just forgot to say that in 1930 when Antonio Baulucci was building this, uh, he had to put a dedication in the floor to Benito Mussolini. <laughs> and somewhere around the 70s, uh, they decided that it's time to move on and they uh, changed it from Benito Mussolini to Peace and Love. <laughs> so, um, you want to sit there or there? So, brothers and sisters, uh, most groups come over here, read the BS, just uh, bless it, and that's it. They get back on the bus. But this is the first group I remember, I'll never forget it when I was a guy. This was the first group that the reading just went on and on and on. They read the whole Sermon on the Mount. The Sermon on the Mount. How strange is that? And I was like, whoa, look at that. They just didn't read the first few verses, but they read like five, six, seven, and eight. So please, uh, if you guys want, I have a Bible. I, I'm guessing maybe you just start off. And uh, read it, hand it to somebody else, keep reading it, whatever, go ahead, read it until you're done reading and somebody pick it up from there, is what I'm thinking of doing. Uh, uh, and seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt hath, have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill, cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle, and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Amen. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to destroy the law, or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. <clears throat> For rarely I say it to you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or tittle, or one tittle shall not in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness should, shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, thou shalt not kill. Whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar and there rememberest, that thy brother hath aught against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way. First be reconciled.
reconciled to thy brother and then come and offer thy blood. Agree with thine adversary quickly, while thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Verily I say unto thee, Thou shalt by no means come out thence till thou hast paid the uttermost farthing. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her, hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. And if thy right eye offend thee, look it out, cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off, and cast it far from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. It has been said, Whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of divorcement. But I say unto you, that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, causes her to commit adultery. Whosoever shall marry her that is divorced, it is adultery. Yeah. 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 Again, you have heard, but it has been said by them of old time, thou shalt not forswear thy woman to come before and unto the Lord thy name. But I say unto you, for not at all, not by heaven, but by the earth, for it is the footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Neither shalt thou swear by the head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black. But let your communication be, yea, yea, nay, nay. For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. Ye have heard that it hath been said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you, unto you, that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, how will I be a roll And if any man will sue thee at the law, and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him to me. Give to him that asketh thee, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn not thou away. Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which, des which despitefully use you and persecute you, that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans do the same? Sorry, do not even the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Take heed that you do not that you do not your alms before men to be seen of them, otherwise ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou dost alms, do this alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward, but thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut the, thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee open. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. But be ye not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask them. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and we forgive us, sorry, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, unto you, they have no reward. But if thou fastest, 
for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust does corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God in that. Therefore, I say unto you, Take no thought for your life what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, or yet is not, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body more than remnant? Behold the fowls of the earth, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his statue? And why take ye thought for remnant? Consider the ladies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they sin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all of his glory was not arrived like one of you. Wherefore, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall not Shall he not much more clothe ye, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall be shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of his self. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Judge not that you be not judged, for with what judgment you judge, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. And why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but do not consider the plank in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me remove the speck from your eye, and look, a plank is in your own eye? Hypocrite! First, remove the plank in your own eye, and then you'll see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Do not give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn and tear you in pieces. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock and it will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And he who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, it will be open. Or, what man is there among you, who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask Him? 
Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter by the narrow gates, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits you will know them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell, and it was, and great was its fall. And so it was, when Jesus had ended these sayings, that the people were astonished at his teaching. For Jesus taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> if anybody has anything to add, thing or thing, here we are. I think it's cool that uh, Jesus, Yeshua, told, like, he kind of like underhandedly jabbed the scribes and the Pharisees right there when he said not only like you have to be as righteous as the scribes and the Pharisees but even more so like they're not even doing enough to merit the, the kingdom of heaven you know, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and the Pharisees like you gotta do more than they are and he's like taking that right there in front of their face and then uh, when he was telling them about the adultery like those who commit adultery um <coughs> There was a Jewish law that they had written into the, the oral tradition where if they found, if the older rabbis found a prettier, younger wife that they could just put away and divorce their wives that they had and just exchange them for the younger wife. And that's why he was telling them, like, if you're even thinking about doing that, you've already committed adultery. So he's like putting a stricter standard of the law. And those people that say that he came to do away with the law in that sermon, it sounds like he just made it even harder to follow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially when it says if you look at a woman. Yeah. When I first read that, I said, man, I am going to hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Amen. But then, <laughs> but then, of course, God continues to grow you and teach you and things. And, yep. and one of the things that God texted me, Brother Van Meter, because I told him, Brother Van Meter, I got a big problem. I think I'm going to hell. Said, this verse right here is it's really bad. <laughs> and he said, Well, son, that's why God gave you a net so you can turn away. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Okay, thank you. <laughs> Problem solved. Okay, it's that simple. <laughs>
certain things. Moses said. Yeah. The said, this is the thing. They would come and... I uh, tell you this. Okay. They would yeah. throw this no, lady to his feet, and they would tell him, now Moses said, we got a stoner today. What do you say? Oh. And he'd go down into the ground, and he'd write, Oh, Mr. Scribe, where were you on Monday when you told your wife you're going into a business meeting? Or uh, where were you when you did that and that? And he wasn't condemning them, because he would later on wipe it off, but they would condemn her, even though some of them were probably with her. And then it's, it's said that, he was, that she was caught in the act, and uh, he was actually keeping them, them from breaking the Torah themselves, because they were supposed to bring both people that were guilty of the day. And he was actually trying to keep them from breaking their own law and saving them at the same time, even though he was probably smacked. What does that mean? <laughs> they were like, oh, it's good. It's good. So he's speaking for like I say. I know Moses said this, but I'm telling you, and that really like who is this guy? Who does he think he is? There's no No, nobody's above Moses and the law. The law says this is what I say. I say this is what I say. And the rabbis and scribes. They come up with a whole litany of hedge or fence laws. So don't do this. It's a fence. And we don't want you to do that because if you cross what we tell you, then you're going to go over there and break God's law. So they, they made all this legalistic stuff. And in Mark chapter 7, Jesus Christ in talking to these legalistic Pharisees, Sadducees, Herodians, and Zealots, he quotes God's prophet Isaiah, and he says, this is an example of what these guys had spoken without authority. Jesus then said to them, well did Isaiah prophesy of you hypocrites, as it is written, this people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, and in vain, in vanity, they worship me. In other words, it's useless worship. Teaching as doctrine the commandments of men. You follow that? Oh, Teaching God. as doctrine the me, many other such things you do. He said to them, all too well, you reject the commandment of God that you can keep your tradition. Keep those fence laws. For Moses said, honor your mother and your father. And he who curses his mother or father, let him be put to death. I think that's the sixth commandment. But you, hypocrites, say, if a man says to his father or mother, you know, whatever prophet you might have received from me, you know, I know you're old and utterly, and I got the money to help you have your life a little easier, but I'm making that as a gift to God. The Corbin, it's a gift to God. And then you no longer let him do anything for his father or mother. Because the priests were wanting it, making the making the word of God of no effect through your tradition, which you hand down. That's what they're teaching the the youngsters, the young people. They teach them the tradition, and many other such things you do. So he's talking about this one thing, and then his last sentence he says, and many other such things you do. I mean, yeah. they were total blind guides. <laughs> They were total, they had gotten so far from God. So when Jesus came and he's teaching them at the Beatitudes, like we just read in 5, 6, and 7, and these other teachings Jesus has, that's why they were so astonished. It's like, man, we've never heard teaching like this. And little did they know they were getting taught the word of God by the word Son of God. By God. Amen. Guys, if you have anything else to share, please. So free, and later on, if you want to walk around, you have to excuse me. I have to take it to the back. Please be at 11 on the bus. Can we go into the building? Yeah, feel free to do whatever you want. Just be at 11 on the bus. 11 on the bus. Let me feel the song a little bit. Okay, don't hurry. Just do what you need to do. You know how to hold it before you're on the bus. Yeah. Well, that was Yes. 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 Yes.